Annyeonghaseyo and Namaste. My name is Samuel Akade and I'm a third year culinary arts student here at Welcome Group Graduate School of Hotel Administration. And this is my entry for the All India Korean Culinary Challenge 2021. I fell in love with Korean dramas when I was in my 8th grade and since then on I have started to love Korean culture and Korean food is a quintessential part of that culture. This culture is derived from the multiplicity of the tastes and variants of dishes that comes from the Korean cuisine. And to highlight that cuisine today I have boiled down to making banchan as my entry for this competition. Let us see how these banchans are made. But first, let's see what banchan are. Banchan are a group of side dishes that accompany the meal. A Korean table is never complete without banchan. They provide balance to a meal. Banchan are simple dishes yet seem to add so much to a meal. Korean families tend to prepare banchan for a week and eat them every day. The reason I chose banchan is to highlight how Indians can also incorporate side dishes in everyday meals. Moreover, Indians are acquainted with the idea of banchan, like papads, pickles and chutneys. For my entry, I'll be making 11 banchan since banchan in even numbers are considered bad luck in Korean families. The first banchan that we're going to make is not an everyday side dish like kimchi or soya bean sprouts. It is a special side dish. It has a lot of vitamin B and C and can lower blood pressure. It is called Yangmun Jori. It is lotus root braised in brown rice sauce. First, we wash and peel the lotus root, after which we slice them up into round bits and soak them in a bowl of water for about 30 minutes. Next, we put them to a pan of boiling water and simmer them for around 5 to 10 minutes, after which we add them to a hot pan and stir fry them until they are done. My next dish is a Korean eggplant dish which is called Gachi Namur. I do not have authentic Korean eggplant so I substituted it with Matagula which is locally sourced here. This dish is made from steamed eggplants in soy sauce seasoning. Now, chop the matugula into bite-sized pieces and add it to the steamer. Next, in a bowl, prepare the seasoning by adding chopped garlic, soy sauce, fish sauce and sesame oil. Then, toss the cooked matugula in the sauce. For my next dish, since napa cabbage is not easily available, I'm going to be making oi kimchi. It is a cucumber kimchi. It's crunchy, light and flavorful, just perfect for the summers. We can also make pogi kimchi, that is cabbage kimchi, or bai kimchi, that is white radish kimchi, or dong chimi kimchi, which is white water kimchi. Now, chop up cucumber into bite-sized pieces. Next, take a bowl and heavily salt these cucumbers and let them rest for 2 hours until the water from them is drained out. Then rinse them and transfer them into a clean bowl and add to them chopped carrot, chili paste, vinegar, soy sauce and chopped garlic. Just mix them well until they are all combined. Finally, let's set up our table with our delicious banchan. First, we have kaji namul and gochujang, kamja joring and geranjim, obakjang and Korean sesame broccoli, beichu kimchi and oi kimchi, geranmari with dipping sauce, yangun jorim and shigumchi namul. Finally, we have our bowl of rice. With this, I would like to end my video. Hopefully, I did a good job in explaining all the banchan and uniting the two cultures. Thank you for watching this video. Annyeonghaseyo.